the business on balls.co.za. Weekdays 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Brought to you by FMB Business Banking. What does the Act require a business person or a company to do to protect that information that one is processing? Mm-hmm. Um, there, are, there are eight categories or eight provisions that the Act deals with regarding personal information. One of them, of course, is security, which is what I think you're Mm. asking about now. Now, it says you've got to take reasonable measures to ensure the protection of personal information. Of course, what's reasonable for a big cell phone company might not be reasonable for a mom-and-pop shop. Mm. So, if you take a mom-and-pop shop with very limited resources, one computer, what would you expect of them? Lock their windows at night, perhaps put a password on their computer so that people can't access the personal information they hold on there. A and bigger soft virus software as well. Yes, yes, that's a yeah. good example as well. You know, Basic protections that would be required to make sure that the information doesn't leak. A huge um, cell phone company, insurance company or something like that, they would obviously need to take far, far stronger measures You mm. know, from, from having perhaps a dedicated person to oversee the information, security systems in place, anti-hacking people, to use those examples. You'd need to spend quite a bit of money to protect that database because there'd be a more expectations um, from, from such a company. But wh- who's going to decide on what the standards are? Because I get nervous when I hear the word reasonable. I mean, lawyers must love that word, and I'm sure it's going to be <laughs> tested frequently <laughs> going forward. But... But is there a minimum standard in terms of a certain type of security software or a certain accreditation for the vendors and suppliers who are going to be providing the software? Yeah. There are accepted standards out there, and I suspect that it would be, you know, the measurement would be in accordance with that particular standard. And, uh, you know, they would look at, at what you've done and whether, in terms of that particular standard, it was satisfactory for your type of organization. The standards normally talk very generally, have antivirus in place, um, ensure that you have a firewall in place. I would have a very basic firewall at my firm, Mm. but I would expect a large organization to have a really sophisticated firewall to prevent uh, hacking or anything like that. The Business, weekdays 11 a.m. to 12 (laughs) p.m. On balls.co.za. Brought to you by FNB Business Banking.